an amazing multicultural opportunity. Creating a cleaner future. It's very formative for them. Development. Network. Wait, I'm sorry, I need to think again. It's extremely useful and it's extremely challenging. It's a demanding project. Growth. Friendship. Enthusiastic. They had to be in two different countries. Probably neither of them was theirs. Probably neither of them, they had family or they had pre-organized um, friendship. Communication. Family. You are always uh, asked to give more. When they are able to, to go, to, to react positively to the challenge, I think that they are really ready to go further. The final is very stimulating for thinking, for uh, improving the independent thinking, uh, the creativity to, to be able to provide the best of yourselves. Open-minded challenge. It's very rewarding that you always find a solution together in a very motivated team combined of these professors, students and administrators that all uh, yeah, are working together to make this possible. Excellent students make uh, excellent research. Accomplishment. Breakthrough. And connections. When you have somebody that really uh, is knocking at your door every day with new ideas or also problems to solve, it's the best way to, to collaborate. You build up a great network of people also for future corporations. By the SYNCHEM, they was exposed to many collaboration, team working, really a, a plus in, in respect to the normal doctorate. The SYNCHEM was not only for the students, but also to create a small community in a direction which is really at the core of the future. For sure, a, a benefit is the possibility for uh, PhD students to grow and, and to work in a more uh, uh, global environment, knowing uh, people coming from other countries, from non-European countries. It was really very rewarding too, because the objective was very focused sustainable industrial chemistry. So it all had to fit together. But Syncham gave us the opportunity to uh, discover the differences between practices uh, and to prepare to, to a future of uh, more integrated European universities. The main institutions are all over the, uh, Europe. In particular, we have uh, seven full partners. I'm from Kazakhstan. I'm a PhD student between the University of Leon 1 and also University of Messina. This is a very uh, nice program because we had the possibility to work with almost 40 PhD students from uh, uh, 20 different countries. Here I am in Bologna University, that's my home university, and I'm currently doing mobility in Germany, in Aachen University. They develop their activity in two countries, two laboratories, uh, with complementary expertise. I consider the greatest thing about the project, the inter connectivity that we have because we are always having the mobility and talking to other students in other universities so we learn a lot of like uh, how to do research in different situations. The maximum challenge is to realize that they have to work uh, in two different uh, situations, in two different laboratories, to realize that uh, they have not a look at their research from just a one point of view. It was uh, uh, really interesting to see, uh, in particular for the non-European students, uh, how much they, uh, they like uh, to invest in the future, working very hard uh, in the lab. My name is Wei Hua. I come from China, and now I'm a third-year PhD student of University of Messina and the University of Lyon. Some of the foreign students, they are really interested in uh, 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 trying to develop something new, because uh, uh, they know, perhaps uh, even better than some of all European students, uh, that the future of their possibility of their career is depending how much they are making in the trial of the doctorate. So they are very active and it was very, very positive to see what is the enthusiasm of these people and especially the fast career that they made when they go back to, to home. Italian students learned from, uh, um, in particular from the extra European uh, students, to, uh, to be more involved in the research activities.
The societal aspect of the Sinkem community has been very strong. We feel that uh, we are contributing to the very challenging moment that we're facing. We need to have drastic changes and science can help bridge that transition to a lower CO2 emitting society, to a, a more sober society. Give the molecules a hassle. Don't crumble, give a whistle. Green chemistry will change things for the best. Always use the green chemistry tools. They are science, fun and science is cool.